Hey guys, time for my last video of 2014 and wow, I have not filmed outside for a while. Okay, so for the beauty part of the best of 2014 tag is your favorite face product. I'm looking down at my questions over here, sorry. Okay, so I have two and they're both for Maybelline. So <clears throat> in the summer, I discovered BB cream and I discovered this one, Maybelline New York Dream Pure BB cream. And I love this. And my also like uh, also my favorite face product is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, yeah, right here. And I love this concealer because I have white heads and black heads, and it just covers them up perfectly. And so for my favorite cheek product, it's in this it's in this palette. So so my favorite cheek product has been this blush right here I'm wearing it right now you probably can't see it because it's so sunny outside but it is called census rose and it's so pretty I just love it and then oh my god now it's time for my favorite eye products which I have a lot of okay so my first favorite eye product is this naked 3 palette I actually fell out of love of the Naked 3 palette for a while because I realized that not all of the colors were like, you know, my like tan girl friendly. But actually, it's come so handy in the fall and winter time, so it's become like a daily essential. And then my NYX Love in Paris palette this is the one true palette I have stuck with when it comes to like everyday use. As you can see, two of the colors you can like see this. It's like, look at that. You can see that I really loved this. And then I also loved, wow, I have so much. Okay, I also loved my Revlon Eye Primer. And I love this because it is the only affordable primer that just really makes my eyeshadow stick. Stick. I meant stay. Stick works, I guess. And then... I also have this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow called Amber Rush, and this is a favorite to like a lot of people, and I really love this. It is, I've got compliments on it, like so many compliments on it, so this is really pretty. And then my Anastasia Brow Duo, we cannot forget the one product that saved my brows. This is the Brow Duo in Dark Brown. And then I also have the Falsies Mascara. It's still in its packaging because I just bought it. And yeah, the Falsies was... It's like, I have a lot of favorite mascaras, but if I had to pick one for the entire year of 2014, it would be this one. Since I wear glasses, I need a mascara that makes my lashes pop, and this has been it. And then, we're almost done with the eye product favorites. I also loved my Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. This has been everyday use I've loved this I did go to like the L'Oreal liquid eyeliner just because I couldn't find this one in stores for a while but I found it again and now I'm back to using it sorry L'Oreal and let's see and that's it for the oh wait we cannot forget the lavender lush palette I did mention this in my March favorites a few months ago and this was such a, like it was so essential in spring this really helped me in spring it had all those bright colors that were like necessary in the springtime and I just really loved it now for my favorite lip product I have of course my L'Oreal lip stains these are by far my most favorite lip product ever I don't think I'm ever going to use anything but these like I mean I do use anything but these I don't think I'm ever gonna stop using these that's what I meant and my favorite shades are 190 endless red and 187 infinite fuchsia and then my other favorite lip product was the essential during the fall and winter time which is Revlon black cherry it looks like this and I love it so much now for my favorite nail polish for my favorite nail polish it is the Estee Lauder um, nail lacquer what, okay, fa a fancy name for nail polish. And it is in the color of Fallen Angel, and it's basically like this dark maroon shade. It looks like this. I mean, in the sunlight, it looks pretty, you know, not maroonish, but it's such a pretty color, and I love it. And this is the only nail polish that doesn't, you know, make those little cracks. Like a few days later, see, when I put nail polish on, a few days later, it starts to develop like these tiny, like, cracks on it, and I hate that, which is why, which 
was another reason why I hated wearing nail polish, but this nail polish has made me like wearing nail polish again. Okay, so for my favorite hair product, okay, so my hair routine has changed a lot, like in 2014. Like, I would have one hair routine, and then I would change it, and then I would change it, and then I would change it. But the one thing that I have found myself being stuck on for, like, you know, a good amount of time was this leave-in conditioner, which is the Regis Design Line Ultimate Re Ra Ra Radiance Leave-in Conditioning Styler, and I love this because it just really, like, you know, tames those split ends, like, it doesn't, like, you know, make them disappear or anything, but, like, you know, it just, like, it reduces the number of split ends, and it really helps, my hair feel smooth, and it's just amazing. And then for my yeah, for my favorite body product and perfume or perfume, um, I have this one favorite perfume that I really love. It's also from Estee Lauder. Lauder, Lauder, whatever. Where is it? Wow. Ain't that something? Okay. Oh, found it. Okay. So my favorite perfume for 2014 has definitely been definitely been Modern Muse by Estee Lauder and it looks like this actually it doesn't look like this this is actually a really tiny sample size of it and it's so pretty like such a pretty scent to it it's not too strong but not too light either and what I love about high-end perfumes is that if you spray it on your clothes like if you spray it on yourself it will set the scent will stay on your clothes for a while until you wash it of course and it's amazing which totally saves the amount of perfume you have to use which kind of saves money if you think about it now we're done with the beauty favorites of the best of 2014 tag now for fashion my favorite clothing pieces I have three fav three or four favorite clothing pieces the first two are from the summer or fall I think it could be counted as a fall clothing piece too but it would have to be kimonos of course this is a kimono that I really loved during the summer. It is from Rue 21, and this is such a nice kimono. It's black, so you know you could wear it with anything you wanted. And then the next one would be maxi skirts. Now, maxi skirts were kind of like... Like, you know, I, it took a little adjusting to, like, when I saw the trend, I wanted to try it because I thought it would be cool. And I did used to wear long skirts when I was, like, little. And so, but still, it took a little adjusting to, but finally I found one I really liked from Wet Seal, which was this one. And it is so pretty. And it was pretty inexpensive, too. I think it was only, like, 14, 15 bucks. Now, I also like, for the fall and winter time, I like sweaters, of course, because... Um, I live in the south, Texas, and it tends to get cold when it's, you know, not bipolar. It's, um, yeah, and I've been stocking up on sweaters. I recently got this one, and I really love it. If you can't read it, it says, more issues than Vogue. And I, re I think that's pretty funny. Like, it was, and it's so soft. It's from Target, by the way. I think they still have more left. And I've been getting some more sweaters, but basically, I love sweaters. And then, my fourth favorite clothing piece, which I don't have with me right now, because I didn't feel like lugging that all the way from my room, is a flannel, of course, because flannels, they give you, like, they don't, okay, see, flannels, people would think that you look too, like, I don't know, drab in them, but no, you cannot look drab in flannels. Flannels are so comfortable, and you know, they're, like, really, they're really cute and trendy, too, so anyone can look good in them so that's why I love them and then for accessories I really loved statement necklaces and just necklaces in general I think 2014 was like a really about necklaces for me because like you know 2014 had emerged statement necklaces like bubble bar is sold them basically every store sold a lot of statement necklaces and yeah and I should have brought one with me because if I, if we were talking about statement necklaces, I could probably just show you one I was wearing, but ironically, I am not wearing one right now, because I'm wearing a pendant necklace, but whatever. And favorite pair of shoes. I don't really have a favorite pair of shoes. Okay, see, I really love fashion and beauty, but the one thing I actually don't really care for is shoes. It's weird. Now, for random favorites, favorite t-
favorite TV shows. Okay, well, give me like, you know, 24 hours and I will still not be done talking about my favorite TV shows. Okay, so my favorite TV shows, oh, I'm sitting on a pillow, sorry guys. Okay, I have so many. I'm going to list them because if I were to summarize them all, it would take like 20 minutes. Okay, because I have so many. Now let's see, let's start with, okay, there was OC, I love that show, Gilmore Girls, how I Met Your Mother, Revenge, The Foss, well, okay, The Fosters was from last year, so I'm not going to count that. Um, Finding Carter, The Royal Pains, uh, wow. Let's see, The Amazing Race is always one, it's like every year. Heart of Dixie. I had a Heart of Dixie marathon this summer. Um, Scandal's okay. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's basically all I can think of right now. Oh, man. I feel like I do a new girl. Always a winner. Last Man Standing. I started Last Man Standing this year. Um. Oh. Let me think of another one, guys. Starcross. I am so sad Starcross A was canceled, but that was a good one. Gossip Girl? Eh. And yeah, that is all for TV shows I can think of. Obviously, there was a lot of TV shows. Yes, guys, before you comment down below, uh, yes, I do understand I have a problem with, you know, consuming TV on a daily basis, but you know what? We don't need to talk about Let's just shh. Okay. 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 And so favorite book. Okay. I uh, I'm so sad cuz I can't find time to sit down and read a book. I am I've been busy with school, but I do I can tell you guys that Pretty Little Liars is always a, a winner when it comes to books. And guys, before I forget to mention for favorite books, Grace's Guide and Michelle Fawn. I am so glad. Like 2014 was the year that suddenly all these YouTubers were coming out with like these book deals and all these like you know um, contracts to write book series and all of that and you know there was the Pointless book, Hannah Har, Grace Helbig, Michelle Fon, Zoella, Tan now Tanya Burr, Naomi Smart, uh, Fleur de Force, is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah look at all these people coming out with books but Grace's Guide and Michelle Fon were like the two books that I got from that YouTubers wrote and they are so good. I actually loved Grace's Guide a lot because it was really funny like it combined her you know basic knowledge of life with like her humorous like her humorous content. It was amazing it, and it was such a pleasure to read like I mean I could actually like engage myself in actually listening to all these tips that she was giving me because you know she included like her own humor into it so it was really awesome to read so I definitely recommend that. Favorite food. This took, this took me a while but I have narrowed it down to cinnamon bread. Cinnamon bread is amazing. Um, the ones I really like are from Whole Foods. You can find cinnamon bread, I think, pretty much anywhere, but Whole Foods is a winner when it comes to cinnamon bread. And then let's see, be be beverage. Beverage? I didn't mean beverage. Beverage? Um, what was it? Baja Blast Freeze from Taco Bell. Enough said. And last but not least, favorite song. Wow. Okay. See. This is, I'm, I'm going to have to list the, this again, like I did for TV shows. Okay, so we got, okay, I Know Places by Taylor Swift, Blank Space, and basically like her whole album. So I'm just going to list the album, 1989 by Taylor Swift, um, class, was Classic released this year? I don't remember if Classic was released this year. I think it was released last year, so I don't think that counts. Um, hmm. Oh, Boom Boom Clap by Charlie XCX, uh, Black Widow, I love Black Widow, uh, wow, guys, this is a hard one, but I can tell you, oh, oh, no, no, wait, Maps, Animals, 
Ghost by Ella Henderson. Oh, uh, Hanging Tree by Jennifer, well, sung by Jennifer Lawrence. Well, yeah, that is all I can think of, guys. Maybe I'll have more song suge suggestions down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in 2015.